welcome to Das Geek. Yes, hide the children. It's in full screen mode. It's hideous. It's so disgusting. Anyways, I am here to talk to you guys. I wanted to show you what it looks like in 1920 by 1080, but we can go up to 2K on this, the Magewell USB capture device. This is a really unique device that I first found out about when I was looking for a capture card within Linux that would work multiple operating systems. Mac, Linux, didn't matter. I wanted something cross-platform. Elgato HD does not have that type of support. Those are the ones you see a lot of streamers and things on Twitch use, kind of a amateur box uh, for capturing. I used the Intensity Pro 4K, which was amazing, but at self, when I was working with the Ask Noah show, we did the Destination Linux podcast and just hanging out, looking at all the equipment, there were these in every single conference room because this is what people plugged into so they could capture the video on the conferences while they're being recorded. Right now I'm on a VC770 uh, camcorder that is connected through this device in the HDMI in, in here. And you can look at this is how the interface works. I would show you the device, but I mean, if we could do an unboxing, it's not that interesting because it's just a little square piece of metal that comes with a blue USB cable. And it's, it's a very small device, as you can see here. And it just plugs in one end to your USB 3.0 and the other end is the HDMI in. You can use a splitter to capture things like PlayStation 3, etc., which I have done. And I will show you footage of at the end. My gameplay is terrible. PS4s, all the systems, anything that's HDMI you can capture. One of the differences here is this doesn't have all the audio and video capture points, different types of connectors that say the Intensity Pro 4K has. The Intensity Pro 4K requires drivers, a lot of professional applications for it. Still love that card, but this is a much simpler version. If you just want to get that feed in, you can capture the audio as well through the HDMI into your machine without having to mess with drivers, without having to do any configurations. Literally, you just plug stuff in and it works. In some cases, like with the PlayStation, you're going to want to not just capture it in like OBS, but you're going to want to capture the... Um, you want to capture the video so you can watch it on your TV screen or your monitor that you're actually playing as well so that there is no lag. So this can capture up to 2K. It's compatible with every operating system because there's no drivers. It's completely plug and play. You can see up and down scaling, image control, outspaces, firmware upgrade capabilities compatible with software like OBS. Continuously works 24 by 7, so it's meant to stay on. It does not get hot, which is very, very cool. This, this isn't one of those cheap knockoff ones that get super hot. It's also $300, although I wouldn't pay that for it because you can get them used for much cheaper than that. Like I did multiple devices on one host and a one-year warranty if you buy this brand new. So that is the Magewell capture card that allows me to get rid of the Logitech crappy webcam and go to something a little better, give me a little clearer picture and something I could take around and film products on and that type of stuff. At least that's what I told the wife so that I could get uh, spend some more money on it. Now this camera here, again, don't look at that price because you can get them used for literally half of that. But this is a $600 camera out there, Panasonic HC V770 full HD camcorder. This is what I have plugged in to the Magewell right now. And so this is a pretty good, okay camera. The reason why they're half the cost is because the specs aren't to what the specs are coming out now for the cameras uh, and the capabilities that they have. But this is still a pretty good camera to use. And I've got to learn the settings, make the, the pictures even clearer and things. But it's a pretty good camera and it has the flip selfie kind of mode. So I can see myself right now through the camera both here and in OBS, and that's a nice touch as well. So again, the Magewell is just a little dongle. You can see some of the support and things that it has. I wanted to share this with you because I see a lot of people who are wanting to stream in Linux. They don't necessarily want to play a game through Steam or whatnot. They want to attach their Nintendo Switch. They want to attach their PlayStation. This is a device that can do that for you. Or if you're wanting a higher end camera, and you wanna get a better picture out of it than you're gonna get out of a Logitech webcam, little tiny lens, you know, it's just not gonna have the same picture, then you could use this to capture anything that has an HDMI connection. That is pretty cool. So I wanted to share this tech with you, also tell you, if you do buy it through here, use the affiliation link, but my recommendation, even though it gives me no money, like the affiliation link would be, is to uh, get it off of eBay. Affiliation is an Amazon affiliation. You click the link, it's the same price here, but it gives me some money if you buy things through Amazon and that link is below. Also consider hitting that subscribe button. That's how I can talk to wife and affording these ridiculous things. And rumor has it that I have, you guys know I've been doing the Vega 56 stuff recently. 
but rumor has it I may have a Vega 64 on its way. So you're going to be able to see that power within Linux as well. I hope you guys enjoy videos like this and seeing this tech. If you want any questions or anything about this, let me know. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Not full screen again. He's hideous. Oh, gosh.